Hello, I'm Michael Horst, Chief Architect here at Comforta. Welcome to part 3 of our whiteboard session series about PCI 3.4 compliance with Base24. In the previous two sessions, we discussed why you actually should care about rendering the PAN unreadable and how Secure Data 24 helps you getting compliant to this requirement. We will now take a look under the hood of Secure Data 24 to see how it works. Let's start off with this subset of a Base24 environment. The components relevant for storing transaction data into the PTLF file, the POS transaction log file. Base24 users will be familiar with this. XPNet is the process that manages the flow of messages through the various handlers. The device handler, router, auth process, the DRA, is the one that actually writes the transaction log records into the PTLF. Now, Secure Data 24 is integrated with uh, Base24 using the Secure Data Intercept library. And this library is bound to the Base24 program, programs, including the device handler router auth process. Whenever the DRA is about to write a record into the PTLF, the intercept library will intercept the call to the system's write I.O. procedure and invoke the secure data manager to process the buffer and render the pun unreadable. The intercept library then will then call the system's write procedure with a modified buffer and write the actual record to the PTLF file. Likewise, whenever a record is about to be read from the PTLF, the intercept library will intercept that call. It will again uh, communicate to the secure data, ma data manager to process the buffer, locate the tokens and convert them back to the original pan. The record is then returned to the DRA. This I.O. intercept technology is well established in many production environments. For example, to bind in disaster recovery solutions. It works completely transparently. Source code changes are not required. Let's now look at the Secure Data Manager, which is the central component of the solution. The core technology for rendering the pun unreadable with Secure Data is tokenization. Now, what is tokenization? Tokenization replaces a sensitive data item with a non-sensitive placeholder, a so-called token. The token is randomly generated, but it can also preserve some characteristics of the original data. For example, it would keep the length of the original data element, or it can preserve a certain number uh, of uh, characters of the original data such as a certain number of leading and trailing digits of, the, of a PAN. To give you an example, look at this 16-digit PAN. A token is generated for that PAN that looks like this. As you can see, the leading six digits and the trailing four digits are preserved as PCI permits. The middle part has been replaced by a random string of characters. Note that this is only an example. The middle part could also be a random numeric replacement. Secure Data has a built-in token engine using a patent-pending algorithm producing the token for a pan using a huge array of random data. And that random data is used to associate every possible pan with a unique token. The random data will be pre-generated during the system initialization and will be stored encrypted into the so-called token vault. The complete random data is loaded from the vault into the memory of secure data. So no IOs are happening during processing. And that is actually the big advantage of the secure data tokenization scheme. It is completely stateless. It does not rely on a database which grows which, with each new PAN token pair. 
It is based on a simple pre-generated flat file which is manageable in size. And it's secure. The patent pending comforted tokenization scheme has been analyzed by independent, renewed cryptologists. And it delivers the performance required for high volume payments processing. Let's now look at some remaining key components, the SDF and the audit log. The secure data definition file controls the secure data processing. It describes which files are protected by secure data and how the pans can be located in the file records. It controls which application processes can access unprotected data based on the object file name, the process name, the user IDs or the creator ID and numerous other attributes. It also defines the tokenization strategy, which includes a specification of the token format and how many digits of the pan of the pan should be preserved. The audit log provides information about all authorized access to the pans in the clear, including the number of tokenizations or the detokenization operations performed on behalf of an application process within a certain time interval. Now what about scalability and fault tolerance? Typically, one secure data manager is run in each CPU. The intercepted processes will establish a link to the managers in its CPU. So, as Base24 processes are scaled across the CPUs, the tokenization load will be distributed accordingly. And should a link be lost, the intercept library will automatically switch to a manager in another CPU until the manager in the same CPU becomes available again. Another frequently asked question is, will secure data work with my data replication solution? Yes, it will. The Secure Data Intercept Library can be combined with any other replication intercept library. For example, here you could use Golden Gate or the FAM library of DRNet. On the backup system, you simply run an identical installation of Secure Data with uh, a copy of the token board. Due to the stateless tokenization engine, all disaster recovery scenarios can be easily supported, including active-active mode. The final issue we want to address is performance. We understand Base24 users are very concerned about the impact of data address protection on their payments processing. Comforte has run extensive stress tests together with ACI at a customer site. On our 4-CPU quad-core blade server, Base24 POS with secure data processed 1,800 transactions per second at about 60 to 70 percent total CPU usage. Secure data only used about 4 percent of the CPU, or about 150 microseconds of a single core per tokenized I/O, and all that without degrading the overall throughput. This clearly shows that secure data can hold up to the performance requirements of the most demanding environments. Let me now summarize the key takeaways of this session. The Secure Data 24 architecture ensures that any Base24 environment can be easily made PCI 3.4 compliant. Secure data is completely transparent to Base24 and any disaster recovery solutions. It has a built-in secure tokenization engine. It leverages the non-stop fault-tolerant architecture to provide the level of reliability that Base24 users require. And last but not least, due to its outstanding performance and scalability, secure data has only a minimal footprint on the Base24 transaction processing. Do you want to try Secure Data 24 in your own environment? Then don't hesitate to contact us for a proof of concept. 
Within two or three days, we will help you understand how easy it is to make your Base24 environment fully compliant to PCI 3.4. For more information, we would also like to invite you to visit our website at comforter.com. Bye bye and thank you for listening.